Hey everyone, today we're going to be working with blanks inside of Power BI. And blanks tend to be missing values inside of our columns. I tend to encounter these when I have relationships within my tables, especially when I have one table that has a list of values that aren't found in the other table. Because this relationship is not a one-to-one -one relationship, you tend to introduce the problem of blanks inside of your data. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can work around the blank problem. What's a good solution to be able to get rid of that blank and show something else, maybe a zero, or maybe just leave the entire field blank. I'm gonna walk you through some of the solutions that I've used, so let's get started. All right, so let's figure out how to work with this blank. Uh, remember, this blank showed up because I have a table that has a list of players that's joined to another table that has a list of scores, but not all the players from my player table are in my scores table. You'll notice that Janie and Scott have no record inside of the second table. So they're gonna show up as a blank, right? If I click on Scott or Janie, I'm gonna show a score of blank. But if I click on anyone else, I'm gonna be able to see their score from those tables. So how do I deal with this blank? So the first solution is to turn any blanks that we're working with into a zero. Uh, this will work, especially if we're working with numbers and we want those numbers to actually be reflected as a zero. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your scores table. So this is the table that has my number aggregation. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new measure. I'm gonna call that my true score. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a sum of my score and I'm gonna add a zero at the end. So go ahead and hit enter. Now I'm gonna create a new card just to show you what the true score looks like as opposed to the score with the blank. And inside of the new card, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the true score. And I'll just fancy format it just for a sec. And there we have it. So now instead of a blank, I show a zero. So I can browse through the different players, right? 25, 25, 12, 12. Victor actually has a score of zero, zero. But now when I go to the players that don't appear in one of my tables, instead of a blank, I will reflect them as a zero. Now this solution works, but just take a note that it could be a little misleading because if I wanted to see the participants in this game and what their scores were, well, Victor actually participated in the game and he did score a zero. So the true score would be correct, zero, zero. Same thing with Alice, she participated and she scored a 25. However, Janie and Scott did not participate. That's why they have a blank. So it could be a little misleading if you're reflecting a zero when in reality, this player did not participate. If showing the zero works, then go ahead and just create the measure, add a zero, and you'll get a zero, and this works fine. Just make sure that it's sending across the correct message, uh, because here, Scott actually did not participate, so is it correct to actually show their score as a zero? Do they actually have the same score as Victor, who did participate and actually scored a zero? So just something to be aware of. And let me show you the second way that I deal with a blank. In the scenario that I just called out, maybe we really don't want the score to be a zero because we wanna actually reflect that Janie did not participate in the game. So we don't just wanna give her a score of zero. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click on the card and go over to format your visual. Now under the callout value, you'll see that this color is white, but there is a conditional formatting option. So if you go ahead and hit that, if you change it from gradient to rules, you can set a rule on the sum of the score. So where there is a score, meaning where the value is greater than or equal to the minimum value, and it's less than the max, and in order to get the max, you just have to delete the zero that was in there, we'll go ahead and we'll color that white, essentially doing the same thing. If there's a value here, call it, uh, color it white. However, we can add a new rule where if the value happens to be a blank, then we can actually hide it by coloring it the same color as our card. So go ahead and hit OK, and you'll notice that the blank disappears. Now it doesn't actually disappear, it's just simply colored the same color as our card. But now when we click on someone that does have a score, we'll see the score, but when we run across someone who doesn't, 
we won't see anything. It'll just show a blink. And a blink may be a better representation than an, a zero. So this is the second way that I solve for the issue of the blink. And lastly, if you happen to be dealing with something that's not a number, right? In our case, we were able to solve for the zero because we're dealing with a number. But let's just say you're dealing with something like a last name, right? So Alice's last name is Allison. Janie's last name is blank because she doesn't show up on the scores table. Tom is Tommy, Victor, Vicky. So how do we solve for the blank? Well, we can do it very similar to the way we did here. So go back to the callout value, go back to format the color. And even though this isn't a number that we can aggregate, we can still add a rule to the count of last name. So if the last name at least shows up, there will at least be a count of one, right? So same thing, if the count is greater than or equal to the min or less than the max, then we'll color it black. So we'll have it show up. However, we'll add a new rule where if the count is blank, then we'll set it to white. And that's how we can deal with the same problem, but we're dealing with something that's not a number, something that's a text. So now if I click on Victor, Victor's last name is Vicky, Tom, Tommy, Scott doesn't show up, so it's a blank. Janie doesn't show up, so it's a blank. And Alice's last name is Allison. So that's just a different way to show you how you can do this with a text. It doesn't just have to be with a number. But those are a few of the ways that I deal with blanks inside of my data set. I hope you found that useful. If you happen to encounter a more complex uh, scenario, let me know in the comments. I'd like to see the type of uh, issues that maybe you're finding out with blanks and how you've resolved them. Or if I can take a stab at resolving them, let me know. Running into scenarios like this is how I learned Power BI. If you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And you can always help the channel by simply subscribing. But that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.